Hey everybody, Buzz Lightyear here. Uh, this uh, pre-calculus lesson is the first uh, lesson that we're going to have, uh, so stay tuned. Okay, so let's first take care of this board problem, so go ahead and pause it, and you can go ahead and, and plug these in. All right, and then uh, and then you can unpause it and see if you got the right answers. Make sure I got the correct answers. I, I make lots of mistakes, so um, hopefully I made the correct answers. Um, Okay, let's go ahead and begin this lesson. Okay, uh, uh, relations and functions. Okay, a relation is a set of ordered pairs, x, y pairs, you guys. And the first uh, numbers are called the domain. The x's are the domains. And the second numbers are the y's. They're called the range. Okay, so the range numbers and the domain numbers. So state the domain and the range of the following relation. So you got 5, 2, 38. 15, 3, 17, 6, and 14, 9. Okay, the domain is all the first numbers, 5, 30, 15, 17, and 14. And the range is all the second numbers. Okay, so there's the answer. Okay, so the domain of a relation is all odd positive integers less than 9. Okay, like 1, 3, 5, and 7. Those are odd less than 9. Okay, the range of uh, y is the relation, uh, the range y of the relation is 3 more than x. So add 3 to all those numbers where x is the member of the domain. Write a relation of the, t uh, write the relation as a table of values and as an equation and then graph. So there's a table of values right there. So it's all the odd positive numbers less than 9 and then add 3 to all those. Here's 1 plus 3, 3 plus 3, 5 plus 3, 7 plus 3. So it's always x plus 3, y equals x plus 3, and then graph them. Okay, don't connect them with the straight line. They're just ordered pairs, you guys. So there's the graph. All right, so definition, you guys. Um, uh, a function is a relation where each element of the domain is paired with exactly one element of the range. And the trick is, you guys, you just can't have an x repeating going to two different y's. You can have y's repeating. You just can't have your x's repeating. All right, that's the trick. So state the domain and range of each relation and state whether it's a uh, function. Okay, so the domain is all the first numbers, negative 2, 3, and 2. The range is all the second numbers, 1, negative 1, and 0. Okay, so there's my domain and range, and I don't see any x's repeating, so yes, it is a function. Okay, here's number B. <laughs> okay, so negative 3, negative 3, look, negative 3 repeats. I know right now it's not a function, okay? So your domain is negative 3 and 9, and your range is um, negative 1, negative 2, and 1. And it's not a function because your your threes repeat. Again, your y's can repeat, your x's can't repeat. All right, evaluate each function for the given value. Okay, so f of negative 1, uh, if f of x equals 2x cubed plus 4x squared minus 5x. So you're going to just plug in negative 1 where you see an x and crank it all out and you should get 7. Okay, here's number two. Find g of 4 if g of x is x to the fourth minus 3x squared plus 4. Okay, so you're going to plug in uh, 4 wherever you see an x and crank it out, and I got 212. Okay, composition of functions. Okay, so uh, given, sorry about the small font, you guys. They'll get bigger. It's, this is my first lesson that I started doing back about uh, several months ago, you guys. So my fonts get bigger. They just take hours to make, you guys. So I, I don't want to go by, make this whole new one. It just takes so darn long, you guys. So bear with me. They'll get bigger, you guys. So given f of x is x squared minus x minus 6, and g of x is x plus 2, find uh, each function. Okay, so first we want to just add them together, f plus g of x. So just add x squared minus x minus 6 with x plus 2. Okay, and then that's going to come out to um, uh, x squared minus 4. Okay, number B, subtract them now. Okay, so you're going to subtract them. Okay, now just be careful when you distribute negative x, and this is going to become a minus 2, and negative 6 minus 2 is minus 8. All right, okay, f times g of x. Okay, that's what uh, number C says, f times g of x. So you're going to multiply them. Okay, so what I'm going to do is do the claw method. I'm going to do this x all the way through, x times x squared, x times negative x, and x times negative 6. And then do the 2, 2 times x squared, 2 times negative x, 2 times negative 6, and then combine like terms. And uh, there you can see I did the x in red, and I did the 2 in blue. Okay, and then I just combined like terms, and I got uh, that's my answer. Okay, number D. Okay, now we want you to divide. Okay, so it's going to be um, uh, the top one divided by the bottom. Okay, and then go ahead and factor um, that top. Factors of negative 6 that add to this negative 1 are uh, negative 3 times a positive 2. So x minus 3, x plus 2. And then the x plus 2s cancel, so I'm left with x minus 3. Okay, 
uh, let's see, so given, um, example number two, given f of x equals 3x squared plus 2x minus 1, and g of x equals 4x plus 2, find f of g of x, and that's what this says, that's a O, that means f of g of x, and then g of f of x. Okay, what this means is I'm going to plug the g function into the f, and over here I'm going to plug the f function into the g. Okay, let's see what I did here. So f of g of x is wherever I see an x in my x in my f of x, I plug in the function g of x, which is 4x plus 2. So it's 3x squared, so it's going to be 3 times the quantity, 4x plus 2 squared, and then plus 2x, but my x is 4x plus 2. Okay, and then careful, when you FOIL that out, you guys, 4x plus 2 times 4x plus 2 is 16x squared plus 16x plus 4. You have to FOIL it out, you guys. Um, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and distribute that 3 through and then combine like terms. And so there it is right there. You come up with that one. Okay, let's do g of f of x. All right, so I'm, now I'm going to plug in um, the function f where I see an x and g. So I'm going to plug in uh, the 3x squared plus 2x minus 1 right there. And that's what this says right there. And then put the 4 through, clean it up, and you get that as your answer. And if you're in my class, I would have you do that as your homework.